Hi, my name is Amber Terhune. I'm the Health Educator with the Johnson County Health Department. In this presentation, we are going to discuss bullying. What is bullying? It is repeated, uninvited, aggressive behavior. It may include threats, rumors, verbal attacks, physical attacks, or intentionally leaving someone out. Bullying can happen anywhere. It can be on the bus, at home, online, at school, on the playground, or in your own neighborhood. During a 2015 nationwide survey of high school students over a one-year period, 20% of those students reported being bullied on school property, and 15.5% of those said they were bullied electronically. In the image on the right, it states that bullying is the most common form of violence that young people face in this country. This slide references four different types of bullying. The first one is physical harm, such as hitting or kicking, spitting on others, pushing, breaking personal items, or making rude hand or body signals. The second one is verbal, which may be stated or written, and this includes teasing or taunting, name calling, sexual comments or threats. The third type is social, which can be hurting relationships, and this can include excluding others or telling others to exclude, rumors, or purposeful embarrassment. And the last one on this page is cyber or electronic technology, and this can include cell phones, computers, tablets, social media, text messages, websites, chat rooms, pictures, videos, or fake profiles. Cyberbullying is different in that it is 24-7. It can be all the time. And it can be anonymous. Anyone can post anything without putting their real name. It may be difficult or impossible to remove the information, as once it is posted on social media, it's typically there forever. And it can quickly be distributed to a large audience. Here are some ways to prevent cyberbullying. Do not share your passwords. Anyone can access your account with your password and post something on your behalf. Beware of any pictures that are taken. If you don't want others to see it, don't take it. And beware of any information that you share with others, whether it is electronic or written or just verbally shared. And have open communication with adults, such as parents or trusted friends. So what can you do if you're being cyberbullied? Do not interact with the person doing the bullying. They only want a response. Be sure to keep records of the messages, including date, time, or even a screenshot, and block the person doing the bullying. Report this information to schools as it may be disruptive and may be against school policy. You can report it to website providers as they can work to remove that information. Immediately report to police any violence or stalking threats, pornography, especially child pornography, and any invasion of privacy, and always be sure to tell your parents. The roles of bullying include those who bully or have bullied, those who are or have been bullied, and those who witness or have witnessed bullying, as they may or may not contribute. They may laugh, they may egg it on, they may ignore it, or may defend. Be careful not to refer to someone as the bully or the victim as it gives the impression that the behavior cannot change. Anyone is at risk of being bullied, but typically those who are bullied seem weak or seem different. They may be overweight or underweight, may wear glasses, have different clothing, may be new to the school, or may not have as many material items as others. They may not be popular or they may have few friends. They may already be depressed or have low self-esteem and they may not get along well with others. Some groups are at even higher risk of being bullied, and this harassment may be covered under federal or state laws. The first one listed is the LGBT community, as others may perceive them as being different. The second one is religion, as this may be based on negative perceptions that others have of different religions. Then there's disabilities, such as physical, mental, social disabilities, or they may have severe allergies. 
and then different races and ethnicities may be at higher risk of being bullied, especially if they are a minority group. Some people are at higher risk of bullying others. They may already have issues at home, such as domestic violence or lack of support. They may have problems following rules. They can be quick to aggression or violence. Some may enjoy social power or the feeling of being in charge, and others may already have low self-esteem or are is easily influenced. They may have a positive view on violence and be friends with others who bully, or they may think poorly of others. They may or may not be stronger or smarter and may use their strength or intelligence to make others feel inferior. Some warning signs of being bullied may be lost or ruined belongings as someone may be stealing or breaking their items. They could have a change in eating habits. The stress may cause them to eat more or if they're being teased for being overweight, they may be eating less. They could have a change in sleeping habits. Some may sleep less as they are constantly concerned about what is going to happen to them the next day and others sleep more as they start to go into a depression. They could have a change in schoolwork and interest in activities. Their self-esteem may become lower. They could have a change in behavior, maybe more withdrawn. They often feel sick, whether it's because they don't want to go to school or the stress of the bullying can physically make them feel sick. They may avoid others or may have suspicious injuries. Some warning signs that someone is bullying others may be that they are getting into a lot of fights or in trouble. They may have new items or money that they're taking from someone else. They may have friends with those who bully others as well. They may have a refusal to accept any responsibility for their actions, and you may notice that they're more aggressive or competitive. It's estimated that only about 25% of those being bullied will tell anyone. Some reasons for this is they may feel humiliated that they're going through this. They may feel isolated or feel like they don't have support. They may fear rejection that no one will believe them. They may feel retaliation that the bullying will only get worse. They may feel weak and they want to feel in control. Some effects of being bullied may include loss of interest in their hobbies, activities, or schoolwork. They may turn to substance abuse in order to dull the pain that they feel. They may violently seek retribution, as we have sometimes seen in workplaces or schools. Their school achievement may be decreased as they have lost interest. They may turn to self-harm or attempt suicide, and they may have mental and or physical health changes, such as changing in sleep habits, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem. People who bully others often engage in risky behavior, so some of the effects of bullying others may include criminal activity, substance abuse, which may be to dull the shame that they feel for bullying others, or to deal with any underlying issues they already had. They may be more likely to drop out of school or engage in early sexual activity, and they're often more likely to abuse others as adults, whether that's other adults or children. Fortunately, most of those who are bullied do not attempt suicide, but usually when they do, they have other underlying issues, whether that's at home or school, and may feel like they are unsupported and that the bullying has just made a bad situation worse. Some ways to prevent bullying are to understand it and have open communication with friends and adults and encourage and respect each other. Get involved in school, whether that's through clubs, joining or starting committees, having an awareness or safe environment, having open communication with school personnel, and developing policies if those aren't already in place. Get involved in your community through community activities and look out for your peers. If you witness bullying, be sure to intervene. Don't ignore it. Make sure everyone is safe and separate the kids and stay calm. Call 911 if any weapons are present or if there's any physical injury or threats of physical injury, any sexual abuse or any illegal act, and provide support for those who are bullied. Do not blame anyone. Listen and be a friend. 
Some survival tips for being bullied are to walk away from the person doing the bullying. Do not get upset or physically engaged with them. Show confidence and find things to make yourself feel better. Talk to others, such as friends, family, or a counselor, and be sure to spend time with your friends doing activities you both enjoy. Some survival tips after bullying others are to talk with someone you trust, find a positive outlet for your energy, and get a mentor. They can often help you work through any underlying issues you may have. There are many resources available for those being bullied. You can always call 911 if you feel threatened. You can talk to school personnel, such as teachers, counselors, the principal, superintendent, State Department of Education, U.S. Department of Education, or the U.S. Department of Justice, a mental health counselor, or the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. They can be reached at 800-273-TALK or 8255 or their website, suicidepreventionlifeline.org. There are many other websites with good information to help you. This concludes the bullying presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, please talk to a friend or trusted adult. Thank you.